Welcome to Ann Arbor, Michigan. You guys thinking about moving to Ann Arbor, Michigan? Well, in today's video, we got a beautiful day planned out for you. We're gonna do a full vlog tour of Ann Arbor. We're here downtown grabbing some coffee at Avalon Bakery, and this is delicious. We got the salted caramel latte. Uh, but after this, we're gonna head over, you look at some parks in the area, just kind of give you guys a day in the life of what it's like living here in Ann Arbor. So we're gonna check out the parks, check out some other things here in the downtown area. You know, head over, grab some lunch at uh, Frida Batidas. It's gonna be fantastic. And then we're gonna head over and check out campus. And of course, our favorite thing to do is we're gonna talk about some real estate here, give you guys an idea of what you can get for about 700 to 1.2 in the Ann Arbor area, all super close to downtown and the surrounding areas. So right behind us, Avalon Bakery. We got the Bakehouse right behind us. Here we got Starbucks. Over here, we got Roost Roast across the street. And this is just four coffee shops right within like eyesight of downtown Ann Arbor. And this is really cool. I mean, people are walking around. It's really vibrant today. Uh, beautiful day and the summer is just getting started here in Michigan. So hope you guys enjoy and we're ready to get after it right now. really great things about Ann Arbor is how walkable the city is itself. As you can see, we're strolling down the road here. We have Kilwin's ice cream shop right here for those of you that have a sweet tooth. There's a barber shop right here if you need to get a haircut. There's Cherry Republic, so you don't have to go up to Travis City to visit a cherry store. You can come right down here to Ann Arbor and see it. I remember these when I was a kid. We'd go to Traverse City. My grandma used to buy these all the time. She got them in our birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, and these red bear patches just reminded me so much of my childhood and the memories from Traverse City. So just being here in Cherry Republic, it's always a good time, good memories up north and right here in Ann Arbor. We're downtown, right in the epicenter of downtown Ann Arbor. We're on Liberty and Maine, and there's tons of shops, tons of things that you know you can do as a family. Come down here if you're a working professional or a family. Yeah, pretty much everything you need downtown right here if you wanna live downtown or be living in the surrounding areas. Um, but one of my favorite things to do is when we come down here with our girls is we take a look at all of the fairy gardens that they have to offer. So fairy gardens here in downtown, they are everywhere. So there's actually a map, we'll put the resource down below so you guys can check it out. But that's one of the things that my girls love doing. Anytime we bring them to Ann Arbor, they're always asking, dad, dad, can I go look at the fairy gardens? Sometimes we have time, other times, you know, we're in a rush, we need to get out and go do our thing, but they absolutely love it. And we wanna point that out so you and your family can enjoy that as well. So Sophia was really excited about looking at the fairy gardens and Sophia, Sophia, what was your impression of uh, Shinola's Fairy Garden? Um, there was a lack of fairy. Oh. I didn't see a fairy there. All right, you guys, check this out. I let's get your opinion on this. I don't know if this is a, a great fairy garden. I, I, I don't, I don't think it is. It's, it's really pathetic. looking for uh, some arts, there's the Ann Arbor Art Center. Uh, they have pottery classes and painting classes and just a lot of cool stuff. Um, you can take groups of people in there as well, so that's another fun group activity that you can do. And there's a bookshop right across the street here called West Side Bookshop, so if you're into reading like I am, that's a good spot to visit. Yeah, lots of good finds in there as well. They got a lot of books that aren't in like the major bookstores. Uh, you can find a lot and they just have some great recommendations in there. It's a local kind of hometown bookshop. We've been in there before and they got some great hidden gems. Getting exercise here in Ann Arbor is uh, really easy, actually. So the, with the walkability, um, you can go, you know, walk around Ann Arbor. You got plenty of things to see. And then, if you want to bike, uh, Ann Arbor is becoming very, very bike friendly. It's been bike friendly for a long time, but they are making a big initiative uh, to have a zero emission initiative uh, coming up in the next like five to ten years. And you're going to see a lot of bike lanes. So that's one of the cool things about downtown is they're they're redoing a lot of the streets, putting in. Um, you know, bike lanes and making it more friendly for um, you bikers um, who want to commute into work. 
All right, so now we're gonna head over and check out Argo Park where you can drop some canoes, drop a kayak in, and head down the Huron River. So we are here at Argo Canoe and Livery Park. This is one of many parks located in the Ann Arbor area. And this is the Huron River behind me. Imagine living here. We, we came down through a neighborhood to reach here. There was plenty of houses behind the brush here. So all of these people can just walk down to the park, connect with their family, connect their inner tubes, and take a ride down the Huron River. There's rapid waters this way. There's calmer waters this way. And it's just, it's, it's fantastic, right? So if you live here, this could be part of your everyday life. You can grab lunch, head on down to one of the parks and just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the weather. And my partner and I, we love coming down on the 4th of July. Uh, I do recommend you get here really early if you decide to come on that day because it does get really busy. But we come down on the 4th of July, rent a kayak, canoe or a paddle boat, whatever you're feeling that day, and just head out on the water. It's a great experience. And again, Ann Arbor has many different activities along the water here. So in addition to Argo Park, there's Barton, there's the Gallup. Um, and both of those have canoeing, kayaking, paddle boating, like I said, a ton of water activities. Or you can also just walk down the trails and take in the scenery. All right, so we're here at Frida Bedita's. I think I'm saying that correctly. Frida, Sophia says it with like such a strong Spanish accent. Frida, I think there's like an N in there. Did you give it, did you have like an N? Frita Bedita's. Frita Bedita's is what she said. So hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, but we just got our burgers and we're gonna check them out. Guys, these things are delicious. I got a double and they come with french fries on them. So let's check this out. Super good. All right, so we just popped over to the University of Michigan's campus. We just had lunch at Frida Batita's. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna give you a tour of the campus here, just show you some places that we think are really great on campus. And one of my favorite things to do when I was working downtown, and still really is, is to come on campus and just kind of collect my thoughts. You know, go for a walk through the quad and just kind of enjoy all the scenery, everything there is to do here. You know, this is great for young professionals if you're working downtown or families. You know, it's a great place. I see a lot of moms, you know, with strollers, you know, going through here. Um, just a great place to get some exercise, go for a run, go for a bike ride, and just enjoy pretty much everything that campus has to offer. And I'm telling you right now, the scenery is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, as you imagine going to school here, when you look around, um, there's a lot of cool college towns, but this is one of the best, in my opinion, and I think you guys are gonna love it. So let's go check it out, and then after this, we're gonna go check out some real estate. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we just got kicked off campus for flying the drone. Hope you guys enjoy that footage. Um, there is a zero tolerance for flying drones. They actually have this whole entire detection uh, thing on campus. They knew exactly where we were, where we were flying it. Police came right to us and said, nope, you gotta bring it down. And I was already bringing it down. It's kind of windy. Um, you can probably see it from the footage up there, but I uh, brought it down and they're like, yeah, no go. Can't fly drones on campus. So hope you guys enjoy that limited footage of the campus there. So we're in the highly desirable subdivision of Burns Park. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. There's a lot of different characters that live here. There's the artsy character, you have your professors. And what's very desirable about this neighborhood is that it is very, very close to campus and very close to the downtown area. And it's walkable. We've seen so many families walking down this street today just enjoying the fresh air and enjoying living here in the neighborhood. So we just wanted to bring you out here and show it to you, let you see some of the architecture. Eric's going to show you uh, some real estate. Yeah, so this neighborhood was actually built in the 1900s. A lot of homes are dating back to the early 1900s, and this home that we're about to take a look at was built in 1909. Now, listed for $775,000, this five-bedroom, three-bath home 
is actually a time capsule and I'm gonna spin this around so we can actually take a look at it. All right, so it's a blue one right behind us listed for 775,000. Again, five bedroom, three bath, right around 1,800 square feet. It does have a finished basement, so you kick that up to about 2,300 square feet. The one thing that's really unique about this home is the original hardwood floors, the built-ins, and these are the things that they just don't build anymore. So if you're looking for a home with a lot of charm, you know, there are some updates that need to be made in here, but man, that bathroom in there, that's some one inch tile. Those are really cool uh, bathroom designs. You know, back in the day, that was like top of the line. You know, maybe not so much today, but you still gotta appreciate the architecture and the design that went into this home. So go check out these pictures and we're gonna hop over to the next house right now. All right, so we're here at house number two. We're still in Burns Park. This is super close to Burns Park Elementary School and Burns Park, not to be confused with the neighborhood, but there's actual Burns Park with a baseball diamond, kids playscapes, um, tennis courts, and just a lot of things, a hope and field for you guys to run around, play, you know, soccer, play football, and just have a blast. You know, but this home right behind us, Sophia's gonna give you the stats on it. Yep. So this one is still in the 700s price point, square feet of living space. It has been completely remodeled, but it's kept some of its old school charm, and it is just in the perfect location in Burns Park. It's walkable. Again, we're close to a lot of different things, the park, the campus, the downtown area, so it's a great location. And we're about, this one's around 700 price point as well. All right, so we're gonna head over to house number three right now, and this one you're not gonna wanna miss. This one is the 1.2, and it's gonna blow your socks off. All right, so we're here at house number three here in Burns Park. Now, unfortunately, the audio of the original file that we had of the footage live uh, got cut off. I don't know what happened, but hey, technical issues happen. We're always improvising. So we're here at house number three. This is also in Burns Park. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bath in the stately brick home is absolutely stunning. It's got a lot of updates. And even if you're looking for someplace with an apartment, this is an income producing property because you have an apartment, a one bedroom apartment, right above the garage as well. So check out the photos of this home and hope you enjoy. All right, there you have it. Thank you for watching today. We really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. You know, we really wanted to show you the ideal lifestyle right here in Ann Arbor. And so if you have any questions about the city of Ann Arbor, the school system, the job market, head down below, leave us a comment. We will respond to all of those personally. You can shoot us a text, give us a call, or our favorite, schedule a Zoom call where you can speak with us one-on-one -on -one and get all of your questions answered. Yeah, I had a blast shooting this video today. I mean, we did a lot from coffee, exploring downtown, looking at the ferry gardens, heading over to Argo Park, um, grabbing lunch at Frida Batitas. These are the main things that I think a lot of people miss when you know visiting Ann Arbor is like, what does a day in the life look like? And we're rounding out the day here in Burns Park. You can see it's right behind. Tons of kids are playing. Um, super family friendly neighborhood here in Ann Arbor. And it's just one of the things that we wanted to share with you. So like Sophia said, if you have questions about this subdivision or any other subdivisions you know surrounding Ann Arbor, we wanna be the best resource for you. So drop a comment, we'll answer all those personally. And make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Ann Arbor and all the surrounding areas. So we got a ton of other videos. If Ann Arbor is not the place for you, Go check out these other videos, tons of great surrounding areas like Dexter, Celine. Um, we got a lot of new construction videos on the channel as well. And again, we want to be the best resource for you. So make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell, and we'll see you on the next one.